What's going on, you too, bitch, yo? Boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another NBA High Five video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. Speaking of the $50 giveaway, I'll be commenting the winner of that down below in the comment section right after I am done with this video. So thank you guys for joining me as always i hope you guys are ready to smash another week man last week was fantastic for both nba and mlb we absolutely dominated also i am in the process of creating a site to cover prop betting game bets sports betting just all around and when it comes to actually like placing like you know i'm gonna have home run prop bets on there stuff like that that you'll be able to get packages for and all that stuff so i'm in the process of creating the site for that um if you want my prop bets or my game bets or anything like that if you're interested in bets in any way hit me up on twitter at cam underscore atl and i can get you set up with that and i can send them over to you that way but right now i'm just sending directly dm I'm not, I don't have any website or anything. I'm not putting anything on Greenlight DFS because I want to keep Greenlight DFS only. I don't want to incorporate any bet, like actual game betting and prop bets and stuff on there. But I will have another site. Like I said, I'm in the process of creating right now. But if you want the prop bets or game bets or anything, if you're interested in anything, you can hit me up on Twitter, at Cam underscore ATL, and I can set you up for that. All right? So let's go ahead and get straight into this. I'm not going to waste too much time. Now, first and foremost... It's about who you think are the best spend-ups on this slate, and I immediately gravitate towards Jokic and Westbrook. The reason why I say that is because there's a very solid amount of value on this slate so far in the early goings, okay? Obviously, news could possibly come out that, you know, takes some of the value away or, you know, limits how impressive they are at their prices. But at the end of the day, right as of right now, I'm feeling pretty good about some of the value guys on this slate. So with that being said, I get to choose my favorite spend-ups, and that's going to be Westbrook and Jokic. Now, Jokic's missing Jamal Murray and some other people, and obviously he's a solid matchup against Memphis. He's going to be fantastic. I absolutely love him. Greenlight Optimizer absolutely loves him as well. Russell Westbrook has just been on an absolute tear. He's on an entire another level. He has been vintage Westbrook that we were used to seeing his whole career damn near. Now he's going against San Antonio. Bradley Beal is questionable. If Bradley Beal misses, Westbrook will be in must-play. I mean, honestly, Westbrook's been chalky for like the last two weeks. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, people just understand that he's got slate breaking upside every single night and he's got a floor of 60 most of the time. So it, with that being said, unless he's priced over 12K, I mean, he's pretty much in play. So at 10-9, I like Westbrook and Jokic as my value, as my spend up plays. As value options, I said we've got multiple value options. I'm going to start it off with George Hill. Also, this is definitely a spot to keep an eye on. You've got Ben Simmons already out, so that's great for George. Um, on top of that, Embiid could be out and some others. Tobias Harris could be out, all that. So that's a spot to keep an eye on, obviously. I really love George Hill as a value option today against OKC, against his old squad even. Um, didn't he play for OKC? Or am I tripping? I'm pretty sure he played for OKC. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Uh, anyways, next up, another value I like is Svi. Uh, Svi is in a great spot as well, man. OKC is just extremely hurt right now. It runs back some Philly value that I like today. I like Svi a lot in a situation where, I mean, there's just not much on this team right now. They're severely depleted, and it's just not a great situation for them at all, okay? My last value play is going to be, let me find him. My last value play, where are you, buddy? All right, I'm going to go with Terrence Davis as a value play. Terrence Davis has been getting some solid minutes. He's a solid player in general. He gets to go against Dallas, which is a solid matchup. I really like this situation here for Terrence Davis. As you can see, the green light optimizer loves him at only 3-4. Um, it's a fantastic spot for him as another guy who is a value option um, on this slate. Just another guy that you can go with today that just you know, opens things up, okay? Um, now, his minutes are up and down. They're not fantastic, but I feel pretty good about him hitting value at 3-4, honestly. Um, the green light optimizer loves him, plugging him in a lot, so I'm going to have faith in the green light optimizer. I love Terrence Davis and Jaden McDaniels both in that range. If you want to pivot over to Jaden McDaniels, I completely understand. That's completely fine. Um, but honestly, for me, it's going to be um, Terrence Davis or Jaden, but I'm going to lean Terrence Davis on the slate, all right? 
Um, and that's it. That's the core. Russell Westbrook, Hill, Terrence Davis, Jokic, and Svee. We've got three value plays that I really, really like today. Uh, also, uh, when it comes to the value, Terrence Davis would probably be the, the value guy that I would consider changing the most, most likely, um, at least in cash games. So, I mean, unless somebody for Sacramento is out, but I like the fact that Sacramento just played last night. It's a good spot for him to get some extra minutes here today. So Terrence Davis is really sneaky today. But if you were going to change one, probably him, if if better value opens up later. Like, we could get some really, really good value opening up. So you guys know that's the key with NBA. Like, I can come on here, give you guys my first look opinion, and really break things down. But at the end of the day, some news that comes out 30 minutes before lock could change the entire slate. And we know that. So it's very important you pay attention to that. And if you can't pay attention to that, just hit up greenlightdfs.com. Let me pay attention to it for you. That's the whole point of our site is to make sure you guys are getting all the updates, making sure that you guys have the most updated, up-to-date version that is in the best position to succeed. Plain and simple. All right. Next up, let's check out FanDuel. Over on FanDuel, I'm going to keep my core of Westbrook and Jokic in. And then let's check out what the value is looking like over here. We've got Roby at 4-1, Nato at 4-5, Dozier at 4-6. Dozier's been playing really, really well. Terrence Davis is 4-1. How much is our other value, guys? Svee's 4-5. You know what? I'm going to go with, over here on Fando, I'm going to go with Isaiah Roby. Like I said, this is an incredibly thin OKC team. And especially if Embiid misses, that's a big-time defender missing from Philly down low. So I think Roby is a very solid option, and I agree with the green light optimizer here on that one. Reggie Bullock is also a solid value, but we'll stick here for now. We'll go Westbrook, Jokic as just spend-ups for FanDuel, and then Isaiah Roby as a value play over on FanDuel. Now, we'll plug in some core plays, and then we'll optimize, as always, for Yahoo. Um... I still want my core of Jokic and Westbrook because I feel the value is good. And then optimize, we have Daylon Wright, Terrence Mann, Russell Westbrook, Kenrich Williams, Jaron Jackson, Royce O'Neal, Jokic, and Andre Drummond as the uh, optimized line for Yahoo. I really love this lineup for Yahoo. So it's just a first look, obviously, though, in GPP. You know the green line optimizer takes chances. This is not like a cash game lineup, but this is what I like for Yahoo. All right, guys, thank you guys for joining me. As always, greenlightdfs.com. Join the squad. Let's get it again tonight. I'm about to post an MLB video in a little bit, so stay tuned for that.